Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a weekly love forecast for the Virgo. Um, this is going to be for May 11th, so this is going to be starting today, and then ending on May the 18th, 2016. Okay Virgo, so this is going to be a very basic five card spread. We're going to look at present. Okay, you got all kind of cards turning over, so the spirits really have a huge message about your love life, Virgo, because they're falling everywhere. I mean, a bunch of major arcana cards fell out. <laughs> I'm just to be honest with you. The strength card fell out. We're going to use the strength card as the facilitator. The strength card is about mind over matter. So this is about, you know, using your, your mind to you know, manifests overcoming some sort of difficult situation. Instead of your physical strength, you're going to have to use your mind. Uh, we're going to look at what's currently going on for you, Virgos. You know, what's happened in the past and what you can look forward to in the future. As well as a, a potential, what you can expect in the situation. All right, so I'm just going to finish shuffling. And um, again, this reading may not resonate with all of you Virgos, whether or not it does or it doesn't. I always recommend a personalized, more in-depth reading. So if you want one of those, um, definitely um, check out my video, check out the link in the video description box. Sorry, I was looking at your cards. Um, currently, you got the five of wands. So these are competitors. But the good thing about the five of wands versus, you know, the five of, of, well, I mean, all of the fives can be overcome. Okay, says the strength card. You got a lot of, a lot, you got a lot going on, Virgo. Currently, you got the five of wands. So these are, these are people competing against you. For love so this is love competition but this is you overcoming it you're overcoming it that's what the five of, of wands means it means you're coming off on top and it can also mean that you know there may be periods when you feel like I don't know less confident but this card is always here to remind you that you're gonna come off on top and that's probably why um, it came out in the present position because you are feeling and you're right to feel that way that you did come out on top so that's good in the past six of wands comes up there's a lot of wands in your reading there's two of them and then the rest are um, um, major arcanas so this six of wands in the past this is about you know, celebration, victory, um, public rec recognition, which is really important. Um, you know, this is about getting good news, okay, and, and being recognized as a successful good person, you know. Um, uh, there was some major happenings going on about August of last year that is sort of leading you on your path to success. You got the death card in the past. So this was a huge transformation for you. The death card is the end of a cycle and a new beginning. Okay, a lot of people see the death card as loss. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's necessary loss. Sometimes you have to have it for a new beginning it's death is, an, in, is indicative of change in your life. This change can be almost any aspect of your life. Now we're talking about your love, your love life. Um, I can see this happening probably around October of last year, October, November. Okay, there was some changes, there was some losses, um, but it did lead to a new beginning. Okay, and um, now if we were to flip this, because the death card is crossing the six of wands, okay? So this could be that you were 
uh, in the past and then the death came and changed it did it change it for the good or the better let's look in the future now you did get this page of pentacles this page of pentacles is somebody that you need to avoid this is someone younger than you immature bored have nothing else better to do they're dickhead okay this is an impulsive person they're tempted to do and say things to shake people up they want to start mess they're destructive okay um in the context of love it can show that um you know your relate okay so if you're currently in a committed relationship when this card appeals appears it may have lost some of its luster okay so and, and i think it's with this literal person personally this person that has something to do with this five of wands okay this was a competitor this person was competing with either you against your partner or the other way around you were having to compete but because the page came up in the future i can see this person is trying to affect you virgo and um you've i mean you've lost interest in this person you know and rightfully so this is somebody that you probably want to let go of okay um for you to get the death card in the past you know it means that you need to discuss it you need to take action and you need to be honest about how you were feeling honest about um you know how you're how this this affects you you know um the page is not all bad it just lets you know that you need to have focus backbone and to stick with it stick to stick with a past you know to be able to work for it don't get so bored it's it's kind of like a flighty individual so for some of you virgos um i can see that it's gonna the re, you know a relationship ended with a um impulsive person in the past this person still causing problems and this person is going to pop up in the future You need to avoid this person. This person might pop up around the fall again. This is somebody that you have gotten. You, you, you ended the relationship with this person. Okay? There was some sort of public something. And you ended it in the past, which is why the death came up. This person comes back up in the future as a troublemaker as someone that's gonna make you impulsive then the hierophant comes up crossing so we're not gonna worry about this person whoever this page of pentacles is because the hierophant came up <clears throat> very very good card to get <laughs> when you're dealing with the page of pentacles um this is a marriage reunion this is approval from someone who um, is an authority figure. Okay, this is kind of like a pope. This is a very, very important authority figure. And But this can also stand for stability and, again, a marriage. So there's going to be something that's going to happen for you, Virgos. Um, the date of the Hierophant is from April the 21st through May the 20th. So the Hierophant, when he shows up in a reading, he wants you um, to understand that there's a major event coming up in your life. Usually it's something that you, um, it's it's something that, that you want, you know what I'm saying? It's something that you're not going to reject. This is tradition. This is a traditional romance, okay? So instead of this person that's trying to, you know, Put all of this other stuff in front of your face the hierophant is going to show up and say hey you know the hierophant is about doing the right thing so this destructive person you know i mean that's what the hierophant means you may be struggling with an issue a moral issue and unsure about what is the right thing for you to do know that the answers are within you and the hierophant is guiding you okay because for the Hierophant to be guiding you, you know, this is about religion. This is all about spirituality. This is a very spiritual card. 
Okay, this is about standing up for your own beliefs. Okay, and you know, this is also about doing rituals and you know, making sure that you take that that you do what you feel is the right thing, not what somebody else's somebody else feels. Okay. Um, also, this is a very positive um, card when it comes to love. Um, it means romance is likely to be going very well, whether or not you're involved with someone. If you're single, I do see this person coming up this week. Okay, if you're involved with someone this week, things are going to get more stable. The Hierophant is very stable. So this is about stability and your ability to be stable within a relationship in a traditional way. Um, if these energies work best for you, and if you can conduct yourself in whatever way someone in your shoes is expected to be. So this is a very important hierarchical, hierarchy, you know, alchemy card. It's not the time to buck the system, okay? It's it's a time, and, and the page of pentacles shows, I mean, this could be literally you. You want to shake things up. You want to see what's going to happen if you do this or if you do that. Well, the Hierophant is saying, you know, you're going to rise above that need for either this person that's within you or this person that's in your life. And I think it's a separate person. I think it's a competitor. Uh, this person is competing not, not, just, not for a marriage with you. It may not be just a marriage, just competing for your time or your affection. You know what I mean? And in the future, the Hierophant is going to I, I see a marriage or something with this card. So that's a really good sign for you because I know that Virgos, a lot of people, Virgos, they tend to want quality relationships and not quantity. Okay, because so that's why they are the way that they are. Um, thank you so much for watching this reading this week, Virgo. I hope that it resonated well with you. And, you know, hopefully um, you will subscribe, thumbs up this video. And also make sure that you enter my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, the link to my website is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good week. Bye.